hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another uh, video of comments and questions where I address some comments or questions that I feel like need to be elaborated on a bit more I'd like to do a video instead of just type a novel in the comments section and I thought that this is something that could help others and the question was do you consider this job fit for an introvert and my answer is no but also I want to say that it could depend on the company that you work for the industry that you're going into as well but in my opinion and in my experience no like as someone that considers himself an introvert the part of this job that I dislike the most is having to interact and talk with people but it is a good portion of the job you're having to communicate with your not only leadership but also your clients and or stakeholders as a data analyst your job is to analyze provide insights on data and different projects but in order to do so you are working either with a client or a stakeholder or leaders or all of them in order to provide that information yes you have yes sometimes you are doing it in the form of like creating a dashboard or writing code and in those instances like those are the parts of the job that I enjoy the most because I'm not interacting with people when I'm building dashboards I'm looking at numbers I'm creating code like that's the part of the job that I enjoy the most but I also have to when there's an issue I have to communicate that to my stakeholder we have like depending on where you work you may use different systems some people use smart sheets some people use GitLab or github some people use um, like just a project management tool some people use Jira like we use some form of all of them depends on the department that you're in at my company but we use some form of all of those so that project system is how you keep in contact with your stakeholder or client or leaders to give them updates but you may have to jump on phone calls and discuss the status of the project discuss issues discuss changes that need to be made to the code or things that you're running into issues with and you have to communicate that verbally to your leaders it's not always going to be a slack message which i dislike as well like i don't want to be slacking back and forth all day with a client or stakeholder or leader about a project but that is a part of the job you're in constant communication in some way shape or form with your client leader or stakeholder and again that may not be the best for an introvert that is more so wanting to just do their like come do your work and go home like you don't really want to interact with people but interacting with people is a good portion of the job and how you interact with people can vary but you will have to at some point and again this can vary depending on the job but in the company that you're working for but it is something that I say for me is the least enjoyable part of my job and how I've kind of worked on it is making sure I am the subject matter expert on whatever project that I'm working on because I found that in my years of doing this is that I am more comfortable talking about things that I am the expert on so when I'm digging into data when I'm looking at the results when I'm researching and finding tables and looking at these different products or services and I'm learning the ins and outs and I become the expert so that when questions or comments or things come up on calls and meetings and you know clients or stakeholders have questions I can answer like hey no we can't do this because of x y and z or we should do this because of abc like I'm able to speak more confidently about things that I'm the expert on so that's a way that I'm trying to overcome being an introvert at work because this job at least in my area and I'm currently working in sales but I have been in other departments doing data analytics and I still was required to not only you know have conversations with clients and stakeholders but also with my peers there are several times where because I started having no experience so at the beginning I had a lot of phone calls with my managers and other people on my team just learning how to do the job and it was very uncomfortable for me like I did not enjoy it at all but 
I needed to learn how to do these things because I knew nothing, you know, but that was just a part of it. And that is also a part of the job that we do going forward. We, like we had daily scrum calls where we're pulling up 10, 15 minutes every day to discuss our projects and the status. And then we have to update our JIRA tickets, which would send a notification to the client or stakeholder. And then they come back and have questions and why isn't this project moving forward? And then you're having to pull up on calls with them to discuss things and tell them that you're still trying to find tables that have this data or you're running into this issue or they have questions or issues or other things related to the project that come up. So it's a constant back and forth in my experience working with clients and stakeholders. No, it may not be an everyday thing, but you're having to keep in contact with them, whether they respond to your JIRA ticket or because there's some people that will ghost you. I will say that like I've been ghosted where I've been updating my JIRA ticket every day and they have no questions or comments and they ghost you until you close their ticket out and then they have everything to say. So yeah, that's just my two cents. And I try to showcase this on my channel as well, like what that interaction is like, like having conversations and talking to one another. In the video that you may have seen um, the day before this, like yesterday, because I'm hoping to post this Tuesday in another video Monday. So on that video, if you watched it, you may have seen like this long phone call where there's like a logic change that I'm having to discuss and explain this to stakeholders or to what would we call uh may i think the legal like in um law they use the term lay people like pe like your understanding as a data analyst is not going to be the same as people that have no insight into this world so you have to break it down in a way that makes sense to them and in that video i'm explaining hey this logic change that our data science team is making this is the impact to us and this is what i need to do this is what we need to take to our stakeholders and leaders for this particular project. So you have to explain and break things down, like taking complex issues and breaking them down and making them simple for your stakeholders and leaders. Yeah, so I'd like to hear from you guys as well. Like I know there's several of you guys that have become data analysts, um, so please, feel free to comment below whether or not you believe that this is a good fit for someone that's an introvert. In my experience, no, <laughs> because there is a lot of communication and you have to keep the lines of communication open and be willing and able to answer and address questions and concerns. And that's not like, I, I, I don't like it. Like, like if I could just tell someone else <laughs> like that I'm comfortable talking with, tell them everything, and have them communicate to the stakeholder, I would do that in a heartbeat, but that's just not how the job works. So you guys let me know below if you're a data analyst or in this field, do you think this is a good fit for an introvert? Again, my in my experience, not really. There are parts of the job that I enjoy as far, and you will have time where it's downtime where you're not having to communicate, but at some point or another, you, you are in constant communication with people. Let me know. Leave your comment below and I will talk to you in the next one.